Hi guys, warm welcome to today's Salesforce Marketing Cloud demo. Uh, I am your host Harshit Suri, and I will be training you on Salesforce Marketing Cloud platform. A brief introduction about me. I am Forex certified Salesforce Marketing Cloud developer, and it's been five plus years now. I am working as a marketing automation lead developer, uh, working with various industries into. um implementing salesforce marketing cloud for different clients now and today uh, the main motto of of me of for this demo is to give you a brief idea about what what all things we can do on marketing cloud uh, why this platform was developed and how will be your career on salesforce marketing cloud uh, if you learn this technology Uh, how you will proceed through your career everything we will be able to understand with with this tutorial or with this demo so guys once again a warm welcome to our demo hosted by sb tech so so guys um, with salesforce marketing cloud um, you have uh, you, you you must have seen marketing keyword which is not unknown to anybody it is a very common thing marketing and as you see about salesforce marketing cloud you think keyword and with that keyword you have a brief idea that this platform is is um, is used to do some sort of marketing because there is a marketing keyword into salesforce marketing cloud name so what type of marketing we can do with salesforce marketing cloud is it a digital marketing or what type of marketing we can do because we have already seen a lot of hype in on our youtube channels nowadays everybody is becoming youtuber and saying that he is a pro in expert he is pro he is expert into marketing he tells everything about digital marketing so is it the same thing like digital marketing or it is an entirely different concept of marketing uh, what is marketing into salesforce what type of marketing we can do let's try to understand everything into details so guys just before starting to look the marketing in perspective of salesforce marketing cloud let's try to understand in general what is marketing and how it is performed what is the significance of a typical marketing effort a company takes uh, in uh, to in, in in order to promote their business so guys you all know you all have a brief understanding about marketing the keyword marketing the terminology marketing that is it is an action to promote the products and services to a large audience it is a simple concept that more and more people are aware of your products and services of your brand more and more people will come and buy that product and services from you and you will get more return on investment everything is equally proportional the increase in educational awareness about the products and services to your people will increase their interaction behavior on your brand on your uh, on your products and will increase the return on investment so the act of promoting a product or services to a a large set of people is called as marketing there can there are different methodologies of doing marketing like we had a traditional type of marketing which was performed 20 years back when when there was no smart devices available now it is a different type of marketing which is getting performed or you can say a different type of marketing which is called as digital marketing you must have seen a lot of hype heard about this digital marketing and now we have another type of marketing which is performed on salesforce marketing cloud which is which is actually the main thing which we are going to see into this demo so there are a lot of a lot of type of marketing so why we do marketing we do marketing to promote our products and services but the method of doing marketing has changed with the change in time with the progress in time if you look 20 years back when we were kids or we were not that much grown up 
like 20 years is a large span of time for a particular person so if you look 20 years back people were uh, there who were doing marketing they were able to sell their products and services at that time as well and now if you look into the technological era we have digital marketing in 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 this era also people are marketing their products and services the means has changed earlier the shops were present locally now shops are present digitally earlier there was a different requirement entirely different requirement of marketing because nothing was online there has a different ways there were different ways to market the product now it has entirely changed we have digital devices everything digital the entire marketing concept has changed now. So what is the difference between the traditional marketing and the modern way of marketing? One difference you can see, say, is the usage of smart devices. But there are plenty of other differences as well. Let's try to understand one by one. So in previous era of marketing, that was the marketing which was done by brands and service brands who provide products and services but at that time <coughs> thus the, the brands were present locally so if you have your home in bangalore bangalore or chennai or kolkata pune mumbai the shop which is present locally into pune kolkata chennai bangalore mumbai was able to promote its brands, its products or services earlier to a certain kilometers, to a certain radius. That means the shops were physically present. The most uh, inventive thing they could have done is to distribute some pamphlets throughout the city, to display some banners, advertisements on the locality, on the signals, on the streets, on some important places, that is something they could do at that time to, pro to promote their services to the local city audience only. If that was a big brand, it went to radio to, to broadcast the customized message about their product in, via radio, or they could have published their advertisement into the newspaper or if you if they had even more budget then they could have went to television and they just displayed the advertisement on the television but displaying ads on television was not at all the cost effective method of marketing because you have to burn a large chunk a large chunk of money in order to advertise your products and services over television but guys, at that time also, people were able to do the marketing by distributing pamphlets, banners, radio ads, newspapers. And in that type of uh, uh, marketing, which we call as traditional marketing, it, the marketing was happening one way only. The marketing was happening one way only in the sense that only brand was able to reach to the customer brand was able to give the pamphlets to the customer brand only has to identify the customer and hand over the template pamphlet to, to him and there was no interaction by the customer on the products and services that brand was selling or that shop was selling marketing also the typical marketing concept also says that you have to continuously gather the feedback from your customer to enhance your products and services so that you fulfill the desire need of a customer by making highly customized product for him, highly suitable product for him. But in previous era, there was no mechanism where customers can interact with the brand, can provide feedbacks, can comment, can like, can dislike, can provide reviews, can share the product or services. Because that was only one type of marketing where brands only went and promoted the product. They were not having any mechanism to get users also involved in their product building, which is a typical and important concept of marketing, another concept of marketing. 
so there was no mechanism where brands can get inputs from the customer so that they have a clear picture how they want to proceed what are the extra features they want to add to the product what is what are the things people are disliking about that product if so that was not actually the the, the complete marketing effort which was happening in 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 uh, 20 uh, before 20 years because it was the only one way type of marketing and that method of market, marketing was, was costing a lot of money why because only few options are available either you have to display distribute the pamphlet that would be the cheapest option but if you want to display your advertisement on the newspaper it will cost you money television will even cost you more money so as you go high and high you will have to end up paying a lot of money to those people to the people who are involved into advertisements and if you are not able to generate the revenue then it would be waste of your money to advertise just your product over the television but with the evolution of technology with smart devices being made affordable we are able to interact with the brands digitally the shop which was present locally in your locality is now a digital shop a shop if has if it it has a nice budget can create an e-commerce website if it does doesn't have a nice budget it can go with a mobile application if still it does not have a nice budget it can be listed on facebook uh, instagram marketplaces free of cost but all the shops are now present digitally any shop cannot think of growing if it is not thinking to grow digitally if it is not thinking to grow digitally because the the era has changed and in this era technology is the only thing which will which will be the key deciding factor who will be the boss and who will not be the boss and if any brand or any products or services do not make use of technology they will be left far behind in the competition so the what with the help of evolution of technology with all the shops present online now or most of the shops present online in next 5 years it is believed to have 60 to 80% of the shops going online has uh, has redefined the concept of marketing now people have to do digital marketing what is digital marketing digital marketing is a concept where you will make people aware of your products and services you will make people aware of the, your products and services digitally you will promote your offers you will promote everything to get more and more users visiting your website the only way you can sell a product on the website is to get more and more users coming if nobody is coming you can't sell any product from the website okay in order to get more and more visitors you have to do seo and all those are the typical digital marketing concept which you have to do so with the addition of technology there was a need to to enhance the digital marketing of, of of the brand so companies were are trying to do digital marketing so that at least they get visitors on their website on their application on their marketplace so that they can sell products and services to those visitors so with the help of technology with the, with the with the technology evolution digital marketing came into picture which is helping brands to get more and more users on their website visitors on their website so now as users are visiting on the website users have will start to interact with with your brand suppose you went to amazon you searched for a product the first thing which you will look the second thing you will look after you have seen the image of the product is what are the reviews of that product what is the rating defined by that for that product what is the feedback given for that product what is the warranty and everything 
how people are liking their product. Everything you want to check on Amazon's website before buying a particular product. So with the help of technology evolution, people are, the marketing has become two way guys. The one way is brands do some effort to get visitors to promote products and services among them. And the second thing is they are also able to interact uh, they are also able to interact with the brand, with the products and services. They are liking, disliking, sharing, commenting, okay, writing reviews and and, and number of things now uh, on the products and services which are listed on the website. So guys, think we were having, we were living into an era of traditional marketing but technology came, now we are doing digital marketing. And with the help of digital marketing, we are able to get more and more traffic. Those traffic which we are getting on our websites are the daily visitors, weekly visitors. Those visitors are also generating a lot of data. Those visitors are generating a lot of data. You fixed your digital marketing. With the help of digital marketing, you are able to get visitors. The visitors are generating a lot of data. Now, if you read the data, <coughs> sorry. Now, if you are able to read the data about the visitors, if you are able to read or understand what a visitor who has visited on your website is generating on your website, if you are able to capture the data about that visitor, about the behavior of that visitor on your brand, then you can use that data to customize your further marketing activities. For example, you went to Amazon, you searched for a product, you searched for the reviews, you really like that product, you put that product into the cart. Now, if you put that product into the cart and some, somehow you got a phone call from your parents and you got involved into an urgent work, after 20 minutes of, of, of you putting the product into the cart or 30 minutes of you putting the product into the cart, Amazon will try to check how many people have put their product into the cart in past 30 minutes. That is something which you are showing behavior on the brand. You are able to visit Amazon. You have tried to search product. You have shown some behavior. You put some product into the cart and you went to attend your phone call of the parents. In 20, 30 minutes, Amazon will be able to understand that, okay, Arshit came to our website. Arshit searched for this product. He put this product into the cart, but he has not purchased that product. So in that case, Amazon wants to utilize this data generated by Harshit to customize the further marketing effort. What Amazon will do after 30 minutes, Amazon will send me an email with the same product, with the same URL, which I can use to buy that product. It will give some offers there, some recommended emails, and will send an email after 30, 40 minutes of me putting that product into the cart. This putting the product into the cart and leaving is called as abundant cart. So whenever I do abundant cart within 30 minutes, I will get an email from Amazon, which has some lines written, which has the same product images, the bill amount, the payment link and everything. Why Amazon has done this guys? Why Amazon has done this? Because Amazon don't want to lose me as a customer. At every point of time, it wants to make an impact on my mind. It wants to make an impact on my decision making. If I decide to buy that product, I will go and buy that product. But somehow I got distracted in the process. Amazon again wants to remind me. So it has sent an abundant card email to me so that I am... I, I again might be focusing my attention to that product. If you forget your customer, if you don't predict the behavior of your customer, you will not be able to customize your marketing. Today is an era of customized marketing, not digital marketing. With the help of digital marketing, you are able to get the visitors on your website, but you can't predict if a visitor will 
buy something or not in order to in order to make him buy something you have to nurture him you have to nurture him with some offers promotional contents that nurturing you will be only able to do if you get the data about their behavior that is a new type of marketing requirement which got evolved or which got generated where people are interacting with your brand and are generating a lot of data if you capture that data and change it into a customized marketing strategy that is called as data driven marketing why amazon has sent me a abundant card email because it follows a strong concept of data driven marketing it follows a strong concept of data driven marketing where a lot of people come to their website show some behavior systems of those brands those websites are that much capable to understand what their customers are generating what sort of customers are generating which sort of data and they are such an they have designed an intelligent system which is capable to gather all the data about the customers interaction with your brand when they are online all the data about the interaction about about your uh, on your brand they gather the data and they customize that data into a strategy that is called as data driven marketing so guys with the evolution of digital marketing a new concept got evolved that is called as data driven marketing this data driven marketing helps you to predict the data about the customer to predict the need desire of the customer and customize it into a strategy the, there can be more examples of data driven marketing for example you searched for a certain keywords on amazon and you didn't do anything the products which resembles those keywords will be sent to you daily by amazon's promotional emails this is the recommended product suppose you searched for a black levi's jeans so now amazon has predicted that you are searching black levi's jeans so amazon will try to find out internally within the system how many black jeans are there which is i simulate to the jeans you wanted to search they will it will put it into an email and will in, it will send it across to you so guys you have to continuously nurture your lead based on the action they are performing you have to understand what actions they are performing you have to collect that data in the process of data driven marketing you have to understand the actions performing by the customers by collecting the data after you collected the data you have to compile that data after you compile the data you have to analyze that data after you have analyzed that data you have to turn it into a strategy and you have to implement that strategy this is what amazon has done it collected the data of the customers who have not purchased the product but did abandon cart has put some product into the cart it compiled the data analyzed the data pulled everything into an email defined a strategy and sent it send an email to you this is called as data driven marketing data driven marketing is the approach of optimizing brand communications based on customer information so with the help of digital marketing you can only get visitors on your website the that is not the whole thing there there will be no full stop after digital marketing there is a lot a bigger domain which came after digital marketing that is called as data driven marketing because every company is now online every e-commerce brands wants to predict the needs and desires of the customers and and make a customized marketing strategy for them that is why they use data driven marketing data driven marketers uses customer data to predict their needs desires future behaviors such insights help develop personalized marketing strategies for the highest possible return on investment so guys data driven marketing is the only need in today's era so that you can do an efficient customized marketing now guys think of a scenario 
in a single minute millions of customers worldwide will be doing abundant cart that means putting some product into the cart and getting for and forgetting that product do not making any further steps to buy that product so in that case amazon has to send millions of emails all together and it is not at all possible to send emails manually it is not at all possible to send emails manually amazon will not be able to maintain a huge employee strength which will keep on monitoring every accounts who are doing abundant cart and sending him a customized email there has to be an automated process a recurring process which is called as marketing automation which is called as marketing automation so with the help of data driven marketing we are able to achieve marketing automation because take an example of amazon millions of customers are doing abundant cart every second every minute and amazon has to automatically send an abundant cart email within 30 minutes of doing an abundant cart and it is nearly impossible for amazon to send emails manually there has to be an automated process to do so and that process is called as marketing automation so guys with the traditional marketing with the evolution of technology traditional marketing changed to digital marketing now with the help of digital marketing we are able to get more and more visitors on the website on our brand touch points there the visitors coming are generating data on your product service a lot of data that data you have started to gather and turned or and that data you have started to gather and have tried to analyze that data to turn it into a strategy that is called as data driven marketing but with the help of data driven marketing there was a need to automate the recurring processes then a new concept got evolved which is the marketing automation so marketing automation helps you identify potential customers automating the process of nurturing those leads to sales readiness so guys to sell a new product you have to nurture that person continuously you have to send him communications in one or other way so that you keep an impact of your brand in his mind if you can't keep an impact of your brand in a customer's mind you can't sell any product to him that is why you have to continuously maintain a relationship with the customer and that relationship is only possible with the help of marketing automation so what is marketing automation how automation is defined automation is defined by a typical workflow where we have entry point conditions and actions entry point conditions and actions from where the data is coming will decide by entry point after you got the data you have to analyze that data you can analyze that data by providing certain conditions after you have analyzed the data you will get a data insight that data insight you have to change it into an action because you have to take next best action after you have analyzed the data driven marketing data that analysis will help you to provide the next action so this is a typical marketing automation workflow uh, which we will see when we will implement salesforce marketing cloud uh, with the help of salesforce with, with the help of marketing automation we will be able to create customer journey we will be able to decide what journey a customer will take place if any event is logged by a customer or if any behavior is shown by a customer a customer journey is a series of steps which a customer goes through whenever he satisfies a particular condition suppose a visitor came on your website suppose a visitor came on uh, on amazon he searched for the product he bought that product immediately he will enter into a customer purchase journey in the first place of the customer purchase journey the first thing he will get is the invoice suppose that person bought a television the first thing after payment he will get the invoice the next email into that customer journey will be sent automatically 
providing the warranty details of the television he purchased, the installation date and time of the television which he purchased. On the date of installation, he will get one more email that your installation will be done today. After the installation is complete, after two days, he will get a feedback email to provide a feedback on entire installation process. After 45 days, he will get a one more feedback email to provide feedback on the product purchase. So whenever a customer makes any purchase, he enters into a journey. A journey is a series of three to four steps, which is only possible with the help of marketing automation. So guys, what is Salesforce Marketing Cloud? Salesforce Marketing Cloud is a platform which is a data-driven marketing automation platform which will help you to get engaged with your customer on every channel. It will help you to read the data about the customer, analyze the data about the customer, turn the data about your customer into a marketing strategy so that you can nurture your customers, so that you can, you can sell them more products and services to them. So with the help of Salesforce Marketing Cloud, which is built on number one CRM platform, you will be able to perform all aspects of marketing automation. So guys, in Marketing Cloud, what all things you have? You have everything, like you can create journeys, automated journeys, you can create contacts, contacts like you can create customer database, content, you want to reach your customer with email, SMS, mobile push notifications, there are a lot of channels into Marketing Cloud for which you will require content. You can have content option. You have channels, which are the most important thing. Marketing Cloud supports, supports almost all channels like email, SMS. You can reach your customer by email, SMS, by MMS, by sending push notifications to their mobile applications, by social advertising, web experience, group messaging, WhatsApp Messenger, Line Messenger, Facebook Messenger, whatever way you want to communicate with your customer, you can use Marketing Cloud to communicate. The main focus you have to do is to do data-driven marketing automation because you should have to design such an intelligent system which is capable to understand the data, predict the behavior of a customer and turn it into a strategy and reach your customer at right place at right time. You have analytics, reporting, dashboard facilities into Salesforce Marketing Cloud. You have apps and all other things into Marketing Cloud, which we will see everything in brief. So guys, how to log in into Marketing Cloud? mc.exactarget.com is the URL which you will be using to log in into Marketing Cloud mc.exactarget.com is the URL which you will be using to log in into Marketing Cloud. After you have used mc.exactarget.com, you will be able to see studios and builders in front of you. Studios are the channels which like even Studio Mobile, Studio Under Mobile, Studio Via Mobile Connect for SMS, MMS, Mobile Push for Push Notification, Group Connect for Line Message, Facebook Messengers, we have social advertising, web studios, and we are having builders. Build studios help you with a channel you want to communicate, you want to reach your customers. Builders help you define data-driven marketing automation strategy. Because you have to define the strategy, you can reach the customer easily, but you should have a strategy to reach your customer. That strategy is called as data-driven strategy and that can be defined using builders and we are having some Einstein and other uh, uh, other tools which are required which enhances our artificial intelligence capabilities as well as our integration capabilities with third-party application. So typically mc.exactarget.com is the URL of marketing cloud and in this URL you you will find a window of Marketing Cloud, which has three sections, Studios, Builders, and Platform Tools. We will see everything into details about Studios, Builders, and Platform Tools. Then we will see everything into our Marketing Cloud development uh, classes. So what all things we have, we will be seeing into Marketing Cloud development classes. 
for next one month guys i will quickly brief them we will start with the data model because we are going doing data driven marketing automation so we have to design a scalable normalized distributed data model so in marketing cloud we have two type of data models available list based and contact based data model we will see everything in detail why we, why we want to go with the list based and why we want to go with the contact based because these two type of data models are essential for us to design a scalable data approach because we have to do data driven marketing and our data should be well distributed and it should be in a position to get scalable at any point so we will start with data driven modeling we will see how to connect salesforce with salesforce market salesforce with salesforce marketing cloud in salesforce we have sales service and community cloud and if you want to complete the three dots of crm that is sales service marketing you have to connect salesforce crm with salesforce marketing cloud with the help of marketing cloud connect feature installed package we will see how to connect salesforce with salesforce marketing cloud and perform cross platform data driven marketing automation we will see how to work with apis into marketing cloud marketing cloud is not only used to send promotional marketing content but it is greatly used to have to facilitate transactions every every brand is an online brand you go purchase something return something you make some transaction forward password you take something from your atm card everywhere online you will go and perform transactions and marketing cloud is the best platform to handle all those transaction because in response to any transaction you have to send an acknowledgement to your customers if he has made a transaction in the form of product purchase you have to send him the invoice if he has made the transaction by returning something you have to send him the acknowledgement if he has made transaction by withdrawing some amount from the atm you have to send the updated balance and the acknowledgement so all these transactions seek real time behavior and real time communications to be sent from the brand and that real time communications can be achieved by marketing cloud apis which we will see in details in our one month of training we will implement email studio in emails we will see basic emails studio laws can spam law and the emails which we are going to build are not the simple emails we are going to build highly data driven customized email like take an example of amazon again billions of customers does abundant cart billions of customers get an email only single email is defined by amazon but it is sent to millions of people whenever abundant cart is happening so that is highly customized dynamic data driven email which is built by amazon the same scenario we will we will look here how to build that type of email using amp script amp script is a scripting language into marketing cloud for which we will be seeing basics all the functions and everything which we will be seeing how to start with amp script because it is very important for you to understand amp script in order to start the data driven uh, journey and the data driven journey will require knowledge on amp script as well we will study web studio as well guys this type of micro websites landing pages forms we will be able to create with web studio we will see how to use amp script with web studio as well to create interactive pages we have mobile studio which is the most important thing into marketing cloud under mobile studio we have plenty of features nowadays companies are shifting to app based strategy you must have installed zomato swiggy ola uber every day three four times in a day you get push notifications companies try to product their services by push notifications now it is a it, it is a, a need in today's era any brand without mobile application and push notification feature is not a complete brand so in mobile studio we will be able to see how to perform group connect that means send message to somebody's whatsapp number line messenger facebook messenger we will be able to see mobile connect how to send sms mms and we will see mobile push how to integrate a mobile application with salesforce marketing cloud and what are the requirements of integrating and how to send push notifications 
how to define content of the push notifications. The push notifications can be sent to all the smart devices. With smart devices, I mean smartphones and smart watches as well. So we will see how to integrate everything, both smart devices, smart watches with marketing cloud to facilitate. Not even we will stop there. We will try to see location based entry exit push notification. You must have ordered something from Zomato Swiggy. Whenever that guy, delivery guy reaches your location, you get a push notification that your order is about to reach. Whenever you cross one state, whenever you are traveling interstate, whenever one state is crossed and you enter to another state, you get location entry push notification or SMS that you have crossed the border of this state. So this type of thing, whenever you order Ola over, you can track the live location. You can do everything about, the, about that driver. So we will see how to work with location events for push notifications as well into marketing cloud. As we are doing data-driven marketing automation, so we would require to create strategies. That strategies can be implemented using automation and journey builder. We will see what is Automation Studio. It is an extract transform load platform, which is used for segmentation, used to automate recurring processes. We will see everything in detail about automation, ETL, extract transform load concepts. We will try to create customer journeys, high performance data-driven journeys, which will help you to reach your customers at right time and right place. We will see the journey builder in detail. What are the components into journey builder like decision splits, audience, channel, data, goal, everything we will be seeing into details about the journey builder. We will see how automation studio and journey builder will work together, how ETL is combined with journey. We will see later we want to pull reports on our performance. We will see how to work with analytics builder to create custom standard reports for you. And last but not the least, we will see how to deploy one change set to another one the change set or the items which you have built into staging or test environment to the production environment with the help of package manager deployment manager guys so this was just a brief we are going to see a lot of more concepts in details everything we are going to see now i am open for questions guys if you have any questions you can check with me here only. Any question, guys? Guys, any questions you want to clarify anything? Okay, guys, if you don't have any questions and if you want to subscribe, please do it because we are going to start the batch soon. And uh, it would be a great journey for you to start with marketing automation, marketing cloud, because a lot of jobs are there. And you should, if you if you want to switch your career with Salesforce, you have taken the best decision so far to learn marketing cloud. And definitely in two months, you will be able to land a job. The first month, you have to practice everything with me. The second month, you have to practice the interview questions and everything which I'm going to give you. In two months, you can get a new job on Marketing Cloud. So if you are really interested, please do subscribe to this training and let's meet into our live classes. Guys, have a lovely day. Bye. Hello. Hello. Is SSJS covered? SSJS brief I will I will provide not entire thing, but mm. before SSJS, M script and all everything I will be providing. Oh. Because JavaScript is an open source language. <laughs> M script is not open source. 
it is taught into into colleges as well. So, oh hi sir. Hi. Uh, this is Srikant Reddy. Hi Srikant. Sir, uh, actually, uh, I'm, I'm, I don't have any much more idea about coding and, uh, and, one, more, and one more question. Yeah. As of now, I have 12 years of marketing experience, like uh, home appliance, some mobile experience. This yeah. experience is used for uh, to come into the market cloud? No, there is no, this is entirely marketing automation. This is an information technology thing. So your marketing experience can't come here. Until and unless you work with a, you work client facing, you work as a consultant. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So is market cloud required in coding, sir? Some 20% of coding is required, but if you already have 20, 12 years of experience, you don't need to learn code. You just go with the consulting track, become a marketing automation consultant, and work with clients where you don't need any coding. People who are fresher, I would recommend to learn code because initially you can put effort, right? If you want to earn nice. So those coding thing, everything which is required for you to land a job, I will be helping you here into my training classes. But for people who have already seven, 10 years of experience in marketing, can learn this platform, become marketing automation consultant and go with the consulting track where you don't need any coding, but you can be working with a client facing environment, designing solutions on marketing cloud with the help of with client that, that you can do. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, okay. Mm. Hello. Yeah, hi Ajit. Uh, this is Muru. So, is, is is this training is covering admins, uh, admin part or email specialist? Uh, uh, so, my training will cover four certification course: admin, email specialist, consultant. These three certifications will be covered entirely admin, email specialist, and consultant. Developer 50 to 60% of topic I will cover. The rest depends on your practice because development needs practice. But the three certifications you will be blindly able to clear if you study all those topics which I am going to provide you. Because guys, I have been, I have been working on marketing cloud since you go well if you go thoroughly with that you don't need any extra effort don't focus for certification focus for job learn everything get interviews give 20 interviews you will land a job without certification as well certification you can do whenever you get a job and the company can sponsor that certification but for your knowledge you can also do a certification like admin consultant which you can easily do with my coaching. Makes sense to you, Muru. Yeah, yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Any more questions? Hi, sir. What's the duration of the course? Duration of the course would be one month, four weeks. Okay. So uh, you will be giving that uh, uh, licensed uh, version, right, for the marketing cloud because this is not a open. It's, um, it's not a free source. It's uh, marketing cloud is not because as like uh, previously, right, for sales and service cloud, you will no. get it right in the sandbox. No, you don't have free version of marketing cloud, but we will provide two months of account access, the licensed version. Two months of access we will be providing to you for practice. Okay. Yeah. 
Any more questions, guys? When is the start date? Um, the start date would be, I think, this week by Thursday, Friday, or by Monday, I think. It depends on the people who join. Currently, we are having few people. This is the last demo which I am giving. So by by Thursday, Friday, or by Monday, we will start. But probably, definitely by Monday, we can start. If, if you are willing to wait for one, two days, then please inform so that we can start from Monday. How many Amscript sessions will you take? I will take 10 to 15 Amscript function sessions like four, four to five hours of script with cloud pages, that would be enough for you to land any job. Because development is something which you can't learn in a day. Just you have to learn that much of development, which will help you to get a job. Even I am also learning development since six years now. And I am also not perfect into script SSJS. So the, all the basic things I will be providing Rest depends your effort, your dedication, your knowledge. Any more questions, guys? So don't worry about development and all. I will provide you sufficient information. You can't complain to me after this coaching because I have experience training more than 150 people now no complaints i got and many people are able to land the job this is the right time you if you want to make your career with marketing cloud you should make and we are the best training institute on marketing cloud nobody knows better than us on marketing cloud at least salesforce marketing cloud and i can i'm pretty much sure none of the institute can be more better than us on marketing cloud now, okay. one more thank you thanks for this how is the job market for marketing cloud job market is surplus because every company will have this platform there is no company which will not have this platform. So it is surplus and it is ever growing job market. It is, now it is it is distributing um, like it, people are giving nice packages. But if you delay, the competition will get increased and the package will also get decreased with time, which happens with all the technologies. Uh, so uh, I'm from Java background actually. Yeah. So suppose I just uh, I just want to reskill myself. Yeah. So any knowledge about uh, admin or uh, developer? So uh, do I need any prior knowledge before no. getting into this? No, just you know Java. That means you know basics of development. Yes. Basics of development like how to declare a variable function and all. Yeah. That yes. is sufficient knowledge to get started with any technology. Even if you wouldn't have that knowledge, that wouldn't have been an obstacle in your plat in your path, because it is a cloud technology. Java is not a cloud. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in cloud you have two things. One is the development, and one is the platform configuration and knowledge. You have to main focus on domain knowledge, platform configurations, development. You will be easily able to do. If you know, if you have a brief understanding about how code works, M script is not a, not at all difficult thing. If, if you know, understand the code, you can easily adopt the technologies on marketing cloud, development technologies. But more than development, you have to focus on conceptual building, domain conceptual, and the outcome which you should get a knowledge on that so more focus you have to give on cloud 
understanding the cloud infra architecture of the cloud as well as the domain knowledge by Salesforce Marketing Cloud is used. Twenty percent of part is the development part, which I think you will be able to get easily because you already know the Java object-oriented programming and all, so you won't find it difficult to gather more information.